Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial we are going to be talking about variables and what we can do with them. As said before, variables are containers we put values in. We have to declare them and we can change them at any time if we need to. We have already talked about certain kinds of variables so let's get some practice in declaring them. Pull out your text editor and let's declare some variables. Let's start off with number variables. Although numbers are pretty straightforward, there are different kinds of variables we use to define different kinds of numbers. These may vary from language to language. The first and most common type of variables are int variables. Int stands for integer, which means it can be a counting number and not a decimal or a fraction. Fantastic! So let's look at this for a moment. The first word is int, which is the type of variable. The second word is number, which is the name of the variable. And this can be anything. This could be, you know, banana, whatever. It's the name of the variable. And lastly, the number is what the variable is equal to. Fantastic. So let's look at this for a moment. The first word is int, which is the type of variable. The second word is number, which is the name of the variable. And lastly, the number at the end is what the variable is equal to. The variable number is set to 10 because it has an equal sign and then the number 10. Number 2, which is the second variable, is not equal to 10 because it doesn't have an equal sign. Numbers that don't have an equal sign are just equal to 0. Notice how there is no space between number and 2. This is important because most compilers view the space as a separator. So the compiler reads the word number and the number 2 separately. If you don't like how this looks, you can put an underscore between the word number and the number 2. Oftentimes you will have variables with two words in it. You can either put an underscore or you can capitalize the second word. This just makes the code easier to read. This way, once your code is thousands of lines, you won't get lost. Just as an exercise, why don't you write down five different int variables as practice? Don't forget the semicolons! Fantastic! Getting in the habit of coding is a great way to become a great coder. You may have learned this in math, but if you haven't, that's okay. Numbers can be positive or negative, and they can be called integers. We have said before that integer variables can only be whole numbers. That means you cannot have fractions or decimals. These examples are incorrect. In order to have decimals, we need a different kind of variable. We said that there were many different kinds of number variables, and the reason for this is that each variable has memory attached to it. You use different kinds of number variables depending on if you're using big numbers, small numbers, or whole numbers like integers. In the next tutorial, we will be talking about the other kind of number variables where you can use decimals. I'll see you in the next tutorial.